Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. I'm currently still on vacation, but we got some uh, fun leaks from the uh, developer stream this morning. Figured I'd go over them. Um, first up is Colgrim. Pretty cool card. It looks like we're each some of the factions are getting specific witchers, which is pretty cool. New keyword, Adrenaline. It goes by how many cards you have in your hand at the end of your turn. So if this one is Adrenaline 2, you play it with three cards in your hand, and then it pops off each time at the end of turn as long as it doesn't get removed. Um, this card's pretty cool. Um, it goes by how many cards are different in your opponent's deck than yours. So if you're like some kind of hyper thin, you can... Uh, pop off pretty good you know for i guess if you thin down to one and they have like seven uh the card can get pretty nuts but it still has to stay on the board so they you know they can let it sit there and you can end up uh you know just thinking you it's like a false hope you know what i mean i guess if it's the behind a defender it's pretty good but we'll have to wait and see um looks like uh it's it, i believe this is a nof card card um it's getting the uh, Witcher stuff, but maybe Hyperthin makes a comeback. I hope. I, I don't know. I want more damage stuff, but maybe this coincides with some of the damage stuff. So next card up is the Viper Witcher. So the Viper Witcher is getting changed from its current. The other one's going to be called Kingslayer. Uh, that's currently in the game. So this one uh, deploy. It's four strength, five provisions. Put bleeding on an enemy unit. Adrenaline six, so there has to be six cards in your hand. So you play this on seven to get the like full value. And then it just keeps putting witchers on top of your opponent's deck. So you kind of like put a bunch of garbage in their deck. So it's, I don't know, I mean, causing your opponent to just draw a bunch of garbage might be pretty good. Um, granted, I think this is more of a literal bleed card. But we'll have to wait and see on this one as well. I like the design on this card. I think it's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, because if you could put, say, six junk cards in your opponent's deck, that's going to hurt pretty bad. Um, Nilf card, like I said, we're going to have to wait and see. But I really like this one. I think it's pretty sweet. So the next one up is Brehan. Destroy the rightmost unit on an enemy row that has at least five units. Adrenaline 3, destroy the rightmost unit on the end of the row with at least 3 units. Um, this one seems like a you can kind of play around it Keltulis, it seems like. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure if you get to, it just automatically, the Adrenaline, from what I understand, it does it at the end of turn. So you could destroy the 3 most units at the end of, does it, because it, it keeps counting, right? After it goes, like that's how Cohen was explained to me. Or not Cohen. Uh, um, the first one we just went over. But I think this card's really cool. It lets you uh, play around it. But then also, too, you can use movement to put something all the way to the right. Which is pretty insane. So, no. And I don't know. I, I really like this card. I think it's going to see play. Um, it... Uh, it does its job at the end of its turn, so um, we'll just have to wait and see. This is Scoyatel, I believe. This is a Scoyatel card, so movement's going to come into play, which is awesome. I'm, I love the movement archetype. So the next one up is Gird. Spawn a deafening siren on the opposite row and damage all units on that row by one. Adrenaline 4, spawn a deafening siren on the opposite row and damage it by one. Um, this one seems really crazy with the, the Bear Witcher card that they gave. Um, it seems like it's going to help the uh, Rage of the Sea archetype. Um, it sets up a Hemdall row, uh, sort of. Um, just being able to damage a whole row is going to bump up, a, you know, two blades or whatever up pretty quick. Um. I like this card. I think it's I think it's going to be pretty much auto include for Skellige. It seems like if you're going to play Patricidal and this, I mean, you get another 
siren on the board, which is pretty crazy. You can kill all those sirens if you wanted to. I don't know why you would do that, but um, it's setting up a better... It sets up Donar. It sets up uh, Madman Lugos. Um, card is, I think this card's really, really good. It's going to definitely help Skellig out a lot. Not that they need it. <laughs> so as we mentioned, uh, Skellig is getting a Bear Witcher Mentor. Boost self by one for every damaged ally unit. Uh, Adrenaline three. Boost for every allied unit. Um, it's this, this is another one. It seems like it's like the Cursed Knight type. Thing. Not Cursed Knight, but uh, the card that uh, Syndicate uses for the Swarm kind of reminds me of that. Um, this is another one. I think it's going to be really, really good. Um, Wild Boar of the Sea maybe makes a comeback. Um, and then this card just plays for a, a ton. You know, you play Wild Boar of the Sea, then you play this. I don't know why you would play Wild Boar that early, but... I guess if they swarm you pretty good, it could synergize to be like a, you know, 14-point play or something like that, 15 points, which is pretty good after you already got the wild boar value. So, I don't know. This is another one. I think uh, it's going to help out the, the rain archetype. It's going to help out patricidal fury, um, lots of stuff. I, I think it's a really great card. So next card up, Cohen. Um, seems like we got all the Witchers from the seasonal trees. Um, this one is plays kind of like Shiru. Um, it has Zeal Order, um, boost all units with the same power. So even though units on the other side of the board, I think this is going to be like a Wombo combo with that King Rogner. I think it is the one that uh, sets every unit to five. You can boost this up to a five somehow, and then. You know everything that on the board is a five you know boosts it up which is pretty cool um well this one i, I think this one's going to be really hard to set up because i mean you do have you can kind of set it up with drummers and stuff like that too by playing stuff next to each other um, and you don't have to set it off right away you can let it chill behind a defender if possible um, i really love the art on this one i think it's really great uh, he's got that kind of like Ronin looking style um, art, but uh, fun card. I'm sure uh, there'll be some dandelion stuff with this one. So the next one is Roland Blenheim. Whenever a unit is poisoned, gain two coins. Adrenaline five. Whenever an allied unit is poisoned, gain two coins. Now, my question is, is these cards are all really, really new, so nobody really knows. I mean, we kind of know what they do, but if you play this ahead of the five it still does an ability but each turn at the end of this you gain two coins the way i'm reading it so it can actually gain up to 10 coins which is um i think this card's going to be nuts um having a m key that uh, also synergizes with poison um i don't know i think this one's going to be really really good um, we'll have to wait. Like I said, I, I, from what I understand, if it has Adrenaline 5, it procs five times if it stays on the board. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And if it does, this card's huge. I mean, it, it, it replaces Imkey. It's got a better body, everything. It's so good. So the last card they showed was Salamandra Abomination. Another really cool card that's a engine it's a tribute one so you can play this with i think off the books for free um whenever this unit is poisoned boost self by two so it helps with traffickers if they're bricked kind of um but then at adrenaline four so you play this with five cards in hand um and it poisons itself it then purifies itself which is pretty cool so it almost makes it like you have to have a morel on the board or something to kill it. Um, the art on this is incredible. Can't wait to make this premium. But um, that's the cards. I'm going to try and uh, keep up with them. I'm currently uh, about an hour and a half away from the Serpent Mounds in Ohio. So that should be fun. I'm on vacation. Um, but I'll be back on Wednesday. Hopefully I'll have some video videos out. But... 
Thank you guys so much for everything. You're fantastic. I'll see you guys soon.